David, a first start for you today and a, and a first goal. Must be a happy man. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, obviously to top it all off, three points, which is the main thing and the main objective of uh, today's game. Of course, the first away goal that Falkirk have seen this season. <laughs> well, I didn't actually know that, but um, yeah, it was brilliant, obviously. Um, we wanted to win as many games as we can, and we wanted to back up the good performance that the boys put in last week to win 3-0, and to do it again today, is uh, you know that'll keep everybody happy. Talk us through the goal. I mean, it seemed to be uh, that the power was on the delivery uh, from Louis already, and just a case of cushioning at home. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'd missed an earlier chance, and it was just trying to make sure I tried to get off the mark today, and I probably took the, the hardest chance I had. But yeah, it just sort of crept away from the goalkeeper, I think, and, and in off the post. And obviously, I'm delighted. When you said you, th you felt you took the hardest chance that you had, does that mean you think you could have had uh, another one or two? Yeah, I think so. I think the team in general, we had plenty of chances in that first half, and we were disappointed to be only one nil up at half time. Um, you know, it kind of gave Schremer a, a sort of a glimmer of hope at half time. So we want to try and put the game to bed in the second half, and thankfully, we did that. And important to get the, the goals kind of fairly quickly as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, as I said, once you get that second goal, it makes things a little bit more comfortable. And, um, you know, it was a brilliant strike by, by Mo as well to make it 3-0. And I think that just topped off what was a good performance. I think that strike from Mo maybe took a, a few people by surprise. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I think it took a couple on the bench by surprise as well. But it's a brilliant strike. I've seen him do it in training as well. So it's uh, it's not unexpected. And uh, going after Doyle's goal next week, he's got a bit of competition, I think, for goal of the season. Of course, based on the, the kind of overall performance, with all due respect to Sonar, uh, a match today that Falkirk were, were well worth the three points. Yeah, I thought so. As I said, we could have been up by, by more than one and a half time and um, it was just making sure then that we were professional and get the other goals and, and put the game to bed. And, you know, credit to the back four and the goalkeeper. It's another clean sheet for them and, and that's a pleasing fact as well. One point I noticed about your game today was some decent link play between yourself and Declan. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've a lot of good strikers here at the club, so I was just delighted to get my first start today and try and make a good impression. And um, all you can do is play as best you can, and hopefully the manager will keep giving you opportunities. I felt today I've, I've done quite well. As I said, I probably could have had more goals, but um, once the team's winning, I think uh, that'll keep everybody happy. The fact that there is now you know three, four, five guys who can play in you know up top as well, it's going to keep you all on your toes, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean. Um, as I said, there's at least four good strikers there. Um, you know, it was Connor and Decky that started last week, and myself and Danny came on, and, and I think made a decent impression. And today it's myself and Decky, but we know that we have to keep performing because there's other guys that are ready to go if, if we're not delivering the goods. Of course, it's uh, East Fife next week as well, another tough game because they are above us in the table at the moment. Yeah, I mean, look, there's no easy games. It, that, that's. Uh, you know that's for f uh, for definite, and East Fife will be a tough one for us. Um, look, we we back to back wins now, and we want to just try and build on that. Whoever we play, and uh, look, we'll be ready come next Saturday, and, and we'll try and keep winning. No, no, a personal level, what was it that Ray said to persuade you to, to join up to Falkirk? Say that again, sorry. What was it that Ray said to you to persuade you to, to join um, up at Falkirk? Yeah, I mean, I'd met Ray previously about uh, joining Dundee United, I think, nearly two years ago. So um, I was impressed with it, what he had to say back then. And obviously, uh, for him to still be looking to sign me, you know, two years later, obviously meant he was really interested in me, really keen. And look, Falkirk's a massive club. I don't think it should be in League One where we are at the moment, but we've got to do our utmost to make sure that we, we get ourselves out of this league and at least back into the championship and uh, back where the club belongs. I'm just happy to, to get some game time as well. And certainly if you keep in that form, it'll be a, a fruitful season. Yeah, exactly. Look, I've, I've come here to try and play as many games as I can, get back scoring goals and, uh, you know, I have a full year on loan here and hopefully I can do that and, and score as many goals as I can and, and see where that leaves me. Well, David, congratulations on the goal today and as always, thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.